We're continuing with our uh, beam project here. Now, I was mentioning where the joints are going to be. I'm building this kind of, it's just a metal bracket. I'm just going to screw it on. And I've mimicked a couple of square headed uh, bolts here. So, pretty simple. Just use some 3 16 by 2 and a half. That's what I'm using here today. We're going to drill a couple of holes and throw it together, do a little quick weld on it, keeping it real simple. So first thing I'm going to do on my particular project, I've got to make, uh, it's going to be about 12 and an eighth here and about 5 and an eighth here. So I'll cut all that stuff up, get it ready, and then we'll assemble it. Blue Jays are having a fun time out there. straight through here because then what we're going to do is we'll put this on here, the fake bolt, and plug weld it from the back side. And then up here I'll use the 3 8 just to countersink that, that way when I screw this onto my beam, that's countersunk. So I'll drill some 3 16 holes and then 3 8 countersink, start putting this together. Clamp. 
hard to tell where center is here. There we go. Better light there without a shadow. There. Now I'm just going to plug weld that. I'll tack it first, pull the clamp off, and then finish the weld up. I'm using a piece of angle iron, clamp everything together. I just basically put a piece on flat, bring this up, clamp it. But you gotta make sure that you're square. Because you want your piece to be nice and square when you're all said and done. Okay, feels good. Tack on this piece here. Now I'm just going right edge to edge. All the way. Whoa! I'm sure you guys caught that one. That would have been embarrassing. Just finishing up on the uh, metal pieces that I welded up and putting a clear coat on the beam. Now, all I'm doing is just using a semi gloss engine enamel. So, I've already given it one coat. Okay, now it's time to uh, put this project together. And as you can see, it was really hard for me to uh, film this because of the, the 
sunshine coming through the window, so I had to edit a couple pictures, but you'll get the idea. Now, first thing you can see the beam in its original state. So it's basically just a laminated beam with nothing on it. And first thing we did was install the eight foot piece. And it really helps if you've got some help in a situation like this. Now I got that in there and then basically I just screwed it in on the bottom because the bracket itself is gonna be screwed in at the top. Second, of course, we put in the four foot piece and just make sure that you've got it all planned out. I've got a certain gap on either end and then a gap in the middle so that all of our brackets are gonna line up nice and even. Once that's in place, now all we have to do is add the decorative uh, straps. And it's just a simple matter of sliding them in, squaring them up, and then running a screw in on either side. Now, it's important that it's all squared up because if you don't do that, skip that little part, just slide them in there and say, oh, that's good enough. You're gonna notice that right away. And then at the end, of course, we're just gonna PL Premium the fake bolt heads on. And basically a little dab, don't put too much because it'll squirt out. And then I just taped everything up really well and uh, let them set for about six hours and then peel the tape off. So in the beam, of course I left the job, you're gonna see the tape in the, in the picture, but that's okay. But I think you can agree, that is one really, really awesome looking beam and totally in cost on something like that would be about a hundred bucks. Way more if you bought some really nice looking wood. But we got this looking good and give it a try. Might be that solution you're looking for.